I'm Emma. That's Josh. This is our 50 foot catamaran, and you're watching Sailing Uncut. Good morning, guys. It is bucketing with rain today. It's crazy. Um, Emma woke up with a whole bunch more mozzie bites. She's really itchy and uncomfortable, so I've driven her up to her friend's house so she can have a nice warm bath, get comfortable, get cozy, um, and do some more editing. So that's where she is today. Um, I'm back at the boat now looking for leaks. So, it, it, you know, it's just bucketing with rain. Water's coming in in different spots because the boat's on a lean. Um, so it's, it's a bit different to what we used to when it was at the marina. So I'm gonna go through, look for all those leaks, make a mental note of them, probably tell you guys about them. So when we're fixing things, we can see whether it's, you know, see what the problem is, see where it's all coming from and, and fix those pesky leaks. So the second job I'm doing today, which is way more fun, is setting up our podcast. So we're gonna be doing a weekly podcast. It's gonna go for about 45 minutes um, and it's gonna be a, a debrief on the week we've just had and a kind of a, a what's to come on the week ahead, a planning session, um, you know, talk about boatyard life, talk about just all the problems we've faced and it's gonna be, yeah, slow paced, chilled conversation. So if you're keen on that, um, it'll be on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, all the podcast places um, and on YouTube. So it'll be a video podcast as well, so you can watch it. Um, we're really excited about it. I think you should be too. So yeah, that second job today is setting up the podcast, making sure it all looks good, uh, making sure all the tech works. So plugging the camera in, it'll be a bit techy and nerdy. So if you're not into that, skip till tomorrow. Um, but for now, I'm gonna go through and see if I can find leaks. Let's go do that now. Now we know that this wall is a problem area because there's been a massive leak that goes from the top and runs down here. So we know what's gonna be behind here, but are you ready? Wet. I found an interesting leak. So the water is leaking down here, running through here and across here into this really bad section of core that we found. So. I think that's really interesting because I didn't think there'd be anywhere near this much water coming from this little hatch. So when we make this a bedroom, this will all get cut out, but it's only just leaking from the hatch above here in this weird little void. Once that's fixed, it should prevent all this issue. One of the main things I want to do though, is when I fix this area, make sure that if for whatever reason, water does get in, it's not gonna go straight to the core like it is now. It's dripping like it's, it's completely soaked up here which is really interesting. So yeah, I think that's a, that's a positive, I think, because it's just, it's clearly all just going straight. I can squish on this bit of bridge deck right here, which is causing this issue here, probably confirmed for sure. Yeah, and then it's literally going directly down into the top of this core here. Crazy. That's good to know, I guess. So it's leaking from up there onto there, which was going through the bed and the gross mattress, down here, along here. And then this bit is just all squishy. But I assume that when there was lots of rain, it's gone into there. If it hasn't, that's why this bridge deck is squishy anyway. So another issue to fix, yay. So yeah, that's core water. Problem, I think. Awesome, so apart from that leak over the bridge deck there, there's none others that I didn't know about, so that's good, I'm happy with that. Um, that bridge deck one is good to know about. There's no surprises, there's no, ah, yeah, nothing I'm, nothing I'm stressed about, so that's good. So now I can move on to the second fun job of today, which is setting up the podcast. So I think I'm gonna start with maybe setting up moving the table i'm going to i'm going to raise the table a bit because it's way too low i'll show you that now all right see what i mean it's i've barely got enough room for my big fat legs here to, to get under there so and and when we're working on laptops and things we're always like ah, hunched over like this so i'm just going to raise it 100 mil i've got some blocks which i'm going to put under the pedestal um we're really excited when we when we finally refit the saloon, which is probably going to be one of the last jobs we do. 
to get a really cool mechanism so that the table could, you know, flatten as a bed like all the modern cats have. So we're excited for that. If anyone knows where to get a, a mechanism like that, something that can go from, you know, fairly high, let's say eight, nine hundred high to what about, how about I measure it? Like maybe 400 up to, yeah, 900. So like I, it's, I need a big range of motion. So yeah, if anyone knows a pedestal that can go up and down with that range, let me know. Unscrew the pedestal, whack a couple of blocks on there, pop that back on. First try. All right, this is definitely not going to be precise at all because it's temporary. These are the blocks that I've got. Three of them make 100 mil, or close to it. All right, now I've got to try and get it back on somehow by myself. Man, I miss Emma sometimes. Filming by yourself, it's always so much easier with a camera person. Someone to lift stuff. Get yourself an Emma. Highly recommend getting yourself an Emma, people. All right, let's do this. <laughs> oh, yes! That is sick. Wow, 100 mil is really high. Flip, yeah. Oh, oh, I wish I had done that sooner. I should have done that six months ago. I actually had the blocks of wood. I cut them ages ago. Now it's time to start the podcast. Oh my God, it is so much easier to get in and out of the saloon table with it raised. So I'm stoked I did that. Okay, let's unbox. Our podcasting gear. Right. So this is all podcasting gear from another podcast that we were going to do. We did a couple episodes, but now we've got it for this stuff. So I'm super happy. So we got boom arms, we got interfaces, we got microphones, we got fluffy things. We are good to go. I definitely need that one. Let's get rid of this box. Yeah, I'm going to quickly just plug all these things in and see how it looks. This is my plan. I think this corner is going to be a podcasting corner. Um, I think it'll be all right. Put that on that. And we've got a boom arm. Put the other one on that one. Cool. All right, you don't need to watch me stuff around with this. I'm going to plug all this in, see if it still works, and I'm going to do some tests. Um, so the next clip you see might be, uh, yeah, I might do a test clip, because I'm gonna wait till it gets dark. Um, so, because most of the time we'll be recording the podcast at night after a full day of boat work, obviously. So we will aim to do the night. So I'm gonna wait till the light goes down, set up the camera, set up the audio, and run some tests to see what the actual um, shot is going to look like, what it's going to sound like, and we will go from there, so... I did it, finally. It is now 11 o'clock. Um, I've got audio recording, I've got microphone, it's plugged into the interface. Um, Emma's microphone's on. Yay! So if you're curious, um, that's Emma texting me saying goodnight. <laughs> yep. <laughs> If you're curious, um, the microphones are plugged into the audio interface, which is plugged into a straight into the computer. The camera, which is an 
OMD EM5 Mark III is plugged into a capture card, which is then plugged into the computer, and it's recording basically like it's a webcam. Um, so yeah, that's how that goes. Oh, and I'm monitoring the audio via the interface, um, which we may or may not do depending on what we feel like. The video quality is crap. I'm gonna fix that. I'm gonna add some lights and fiddle with the settings a little bit more, but my main goal tonight was to get it all working, which I've done. Yay, so tomorrow's episode is gonna be a podcast. It's gonna go for about 45 minutes-ish, depending on how long we, we feel like it. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm hoping this all worked. Um, I don't know what the quality sounds like, but I think this is going to have to do for now. So yeah, I'm going to end this vlog here and I'll see you tomorrow for the podcast. Bye.